and welcome to the next video in the Overcoming Isometrics video library here on the Red Delta Project YouTube channel. This video is all about working the flexion chain with a lot of emphasis on the abdominals and the obliques. And just like with the other videos, we'll be using our sturdy World Fit ISO trainer, but you can replicate most of these with uh, suspension straps, gymnastics rings, or even a trusty martial arts belt or yoga strap. Most of the best ways to work the abdominals with overcoming asymmetrics will involve pushing or pulling downwards, applying force downwards to kind of crunch the abs, kind of like we're bringing our ribs into our pelvis or vice versa. So a lot of the stuff is going to involve putting the straps over an overhead anchor point, like a pull-up bar, tree limb, or even a trusty door anchor like you'd use with bands or something can work very well. Placing the handles roughly about waist height, but play around for what feels best. And our first exercise is just a simple straight arm abdominal push down or crunch. To set up for this, we have feet about shoulder width. The arms are straight, roughly in front of the waist. And the key with all of these is to get a really strong pelvic tilt, kind of like we're crunching the pelvis upwards, keeping a little tension in the glutes. We're gonna apply a little bit of weight onto the hands, but we're not leaning forward. And all you're doing is using your abs, keeping your back tight to apply pressure downwards. And you're going to feel a good hard contraction in the abdominals, kind of like you're trying to push down. If you don't have the straps, you can always try and replicate this just on a tabletop or anything you can apply downward force on. Some people feel a little better if they have a bit of a kink in the elbows. Just make sure your shoulders aren't hunching up and you're winging out. That's just gonna compromise some of the stability. Holding for the allotted amount of time and then release. Another fun variation is the abdominal crunch push down. And for this, we're gonna have the straps a little bit lower, below the waist. And we're gonna bring the handles almost to our sides, but ever so slightly in front. Once again, getting that pelvic tilt, shoulders are packed down and back for stability. And now you're driving downwards with your abdominals. This can be particularly effective if you feel like you don't quite have the shoulder stability to apply force with the straight arms, which requires a lot more leverage, this is just keeping things in tight and you're driving downwards. Feels a lot more stable and maybe ideal if you have any sort of issues in your shoulders. Another effective abdominal exercise mimics the classic cable crunch that we used to see bodybuilders do, particularly in the old school bodybuilding where you'd have a cable attachment and you're crunching down while using your abs. We're gonna do the same thing isometrically, having our handles roughly about waist or belly height. If we're kneeling like this, we're gonna bring our hips back towards our heels and the straps are just in front of your forehead. Some people like to bring it to the sides. It's really a matter of personal preference, but you're gonna get more resistance and leverage if you have your hands slightly in front of you. And it's like you're driving your knees or your elbows right to your knees. You're trying to crunch down, rounding the back, getting that pelvic tilt, and again, applying force gradually using the abs but you may very well feel this in your back as well. And that's a good thing because our lats are helping to stabilize as we're pulling down. You can experiment too with having a little bit more weight on the hands and see if that feels a little bit better for you. But don't lean with a straight back because if I'm doing like so, I'm just kind of applying force on the handle. I'm just leaning on it. I'm not really using my abdominals to effectively try to crunch and drive my elbows towards my knees. All of these pull down or push down abdominal crunching exercises can be easily made into oblique exercises just by putting a little bit of a diagonal twist to them. So instead of pulling or pushing straight down to really target your rectus abdominis, you can just bring a little bit of a twist, kind of like you're trying to pass the hands to your side. It helps to have a little bit of a wider stance for this twist and maybe have a little bit of an upward tilt in your hip to just get that extra little bit of a crunch. So you apply force downwards, holding 
Again, elbows are in. We don't want to hunch all up because then we're losing our support in our shoulders and making sure you're getting equal amounts of time on both sides. There are several very effective ways to work the abs if we have our straps anchored to a low anchor point. So wrapping around something sturdy like a weight machine or maybe even a really heavy dumbbell or kettlebell may work for this. But you're having both straps roughly about uh, just off the floor, not too high up, no more than a foot. And you're gonna kneel down on the floor and instead of trying to drive your elbows down like we had with the kneeling crunch, we're gonna try and pull our hands towards our knees. This is a great way to really work the abs and I found out about it kind of by accident when I used to clean exercise equipment where I'd have a treadmill and I'd pull on the tread belt backwards, clean it off and then I'd continue to pull it back just using the resistance of the motor. Treadmill was off, of course, but we're doing the same thing symmetrically. We're gonna kneel down. Again, we got that pelvic tilt and just driving our hands right towards our knees. You'll still feel it in the back a little bit. As your back gets stronger, your abs can get stronger. I'm just trying to crunch down. You can play around with the range of motion maybe feeling a little bit more confident if you're stretched out more. Go with whatever you feel it most in your abs to start off with, and then you can experiment with working the muscles at a greater length. And as always, you can go with an oblique version with a slight twist. If you prefer lying down exercises for a little bit more back support, this exercise may be right up your alley, which is the line abdominal isometric crunch. So you're gonna have your straps right by Sides, again, anchored to a low anchor point. Adjust your handles so they're roughly over the bottom of your chest or your abdomen. And then you're just gonna lift your arms straight up. And using your abs, like you're trying to reach forward, kind of like an old crunch wheel or crunch machine. Some people find this is more effective if your legs are up a bit, but you're driving your lower back into the ground, getting that pelvic tilt and effectively trying to drive upwards. But of course the straps are gonna hold you in place, therefore theoretically giving you an unlimited amount of resistance to really work your abdominals. And of course we can't talk flexion chain without talking about, of course, our hip flexors, which are key to work if you are especially involved in a sort of kicking sports like soccer or martial arts, but it's also really good for helping to balance out our core and make sure everything is strong. It also slightly works the quadriceps. To do this, we're gonna stand on our strap. We're gonna have a bit of a diagonal stance. So this handles behind me just a little bit. And the other one is pressed right up against the ball of my foot. My left hip is stabilizing, but I'm going to drive my leg upwards, making sure to keep that knee really straight. Any little kink is gonna compromise the tension in the muscle and I can adjust the height as I like, wherever I feel comfortable, and driving the leg upwards. It's very helpful if you have a slight inward turn of your foot. It's gonna get a little bit more in that coveted TFL, so if that's a tight muscle, which usually results in tight IT bands for you runners out there, this can be extremely effective for building up the strength and the mobility in that muscle to reduce a lot of the stress in that IT band. Use different angles, play around with a little bit more to the front, a little more to the side, wherever you feel those hip flexors are really working, and then you just simply switch. Make sure you get both sides for an equal amount of time, and release. Be sure to subscribe so you get all of the other five videos here in the video library all about building muscle and strength with overcoming isometrics. And you can also check out this video here a little bit more on the programming side of how to use these exercises for your particular goals. Thank you very much for watching. Be fit and live free.